Welcome back boys and girls. Today we are celebrating Earth Day. Earth Day has been celebrated since 1970 and it is a time that we think about all the things that we can do to protect our planet. We work with environmental protection for keeping our planet safe and environmentally clean. As you listen to today's story, I would like for you to think about a text to text connection. A text to text connection is when you hear something from one book or story that you might also hear in today's story. So sit back and relax and listen to Earth Day by Margaret McNamara. Earth Day is coming. The banners in Mrs. Connor's class read, Save the Earth. But Emma did not know how. The other first graders had lots of ideas. I will rescue the polar bears, said Egan. I will plant a forest, said Katie. I will save the dolphins, said Michael. Those are big ideas, said Miss Connor. What ideas can you think of? When Emma went home, she was sad. I cannot save the earth, Emma said to her dad. I do not have any big ideas. We can start small, said her dad. Small is no good, said Emma. Small is just fine, said her dad. All that week, Emma and her dad did small things to help the earth. They stopped at the farmer's market. Emma brushed her teeth without running water. Her dad turned off the TV. Did you hear that in our last story? They went for walks and picked up trash along the way. They sorted cans and bottles. They use their bikes instead of cars. On Earth Day, Egan drew a picture of polar bears. Katie talked about forests. Michael made dolphin noises. Emma thought about all the things she did with her dad. Then she made her list. Her list was not long. From then on, Mrs. Connor's class slowed down. They recycled and they only used what they needed. Emma's small ideas are big, said Mrs. Connor. The earth is safe in your hands. Boys and girls, have a happy Earth Day, and remember, help more bees, plant more trees, clean the seas. Have a happy Earth Day.